Hey, this is Carl at Drake Auto. I wanted to make a quick video on uh, how to tell if your orifice tube is bad in your air conditioning system for automotive. Uh, the, uh, it has a low pressure and a high pressure in your air conditioning system. You want to see about 50 PSI here on the low pressure, the suction side, and somewhere around 200 on the high pressure side. The system in air conditioning is a big loop and the place where the pressure actually goes from high to low pressure, which makes the cold, is called an orifice tube. And this is an orifice tube that's really bad. Uh, we pulled this out of a Ford vehicle. And um, what we've got here, it's actually a restrictor. So I'll set it up from the high pressure here to low pressure, this tube's in the middle. And the Freon liquid will actually flow through this screen right here and then go through an orifice tube that's in this spot in the middle and come out and put a low pressure here. It's kind of like a funnel inside. And if you look at this, you can see all the debris on there. It's just full of metal. The compressor actually came apart and passed all the metal into the system. Uh, interestingly enough, this orifice tube actually is blown out inside this debris really didn't cause any problems with the air conditioning system. Probably restricted Freon flow just a little bit, but the problem here was instead of seeing 50 on this low pressure gauge, we had about 90. It was just flowing through the tube too fast, which is definitely something you wouldn't think would be happening with all this debris. But I had plenty of pressure on the high side uh, and not excessive, and then I had too high a pressure on the low side I replaced this orifice tube, everything was great. We got uh, about 150 on the high and down to 45 on the low, and the AC was blowing really cold. So that's what an orifice tube looks like. Sometimes these will break off. Um, there's usually a coupling on the AC hose that you unscrew, and this actually fits inside the hose. And then you grab a hold of this, it's usually this end that sticks out, and you pull it. Sometimes these break off, and there's a special tool that screws into this plastic piece to remove it, and then you can replace the orifice tube. So that's it, just a quick video to show you what these look like sometimes when they're full of junk.